vlog and happy new year happy happy new year you guys wow i cannot believe that we made it to 2021 and i am so happy i'm so blessed i'm so grateful and um the last time i vlogged was when i think you just saw the clip of me doing my coffee that was on monday i was making my breakfast my first meal of the day with my burnt ish toast that was on a monday and from there onwards i've just been an emotional i've just been on an emotional roller coaster and i think it's the impact of the fact that a new year is coming and to be honest a lot of things have been happening in my life it has been going on like family me personally you know a lot of emotionally taxing things have been happening where out of more than anything i wished i was home right now and it's not because of the pandemic but it is i'm so sorry for that but it is because of family things that are happening things that i wish as much as i know that me being present wouldn't have changed anything but i just wish that i was at home with my parents with my family you know facing the situation as a family together even though we're still doing it but i'm so far away that it it, it has its mental toll on me and yeah but by god's grace um everything is going well um god has been faithful to me and my family and before i get into that firstly i would like to send my sincerest condolences to people who have lost family members in 2021 uh in 2020 god forbid no one will lose family members in 2021 but in 2020 um 2020 has been an emotionally taxing year i wouldn't say it was a horrible year but it was a year of great revelation for me if i could give it one specific word revelation 2020 was a year where a lot of things were revealed about my life about my family about the world in general and if you look at the way everything started out the way everything started to happen you sit back and you're like wait is this what we thought the world was is this what we thought life or living was it was not until everything was put on a standstill that we realized that being busy doesn't mean that you are living your best life being busy and constantly moving doesn't mean that you have all your ducks in a row and it took the shutdown of everything for me to realize that keeping busy helped me to mask a lot of things that i should have addressed head on keeping busy made me to ignore a lot of things about myself about the things in my life and also about the type of relationships i had and the people i have in my life at the moment so yeah 2020 was truly for me a year of revelation and a year of being broken because yo i was broken in 2020 and it it it, it was not a, a nice experience it was not a, a nice thing to go through because it started off as something small and something little and it just escalated you know it just created a chain reaction of events that happened and i was like Yavanna. so this all this time i thought i had people in my corner all this time i thought my family was family and and i'm not just talking about like my direct family but extended family members you know the people that constantly tell you in your face oh we are family oh i'm there for you but now when ish really hits the fan that's when you really get to see the people in your life that's when you really get to see who's for you and who is not and 2020 was the year where i actually got to recognize all the people that were in my corner and all the people that i actually 
not there. They are, they are there when the good things are happening, but when things turn upside down, you just realize in a very painful way that the people you thought were your backbones or were your core are actually not. And that's what 2020 has taught me and my family, to be honest. And 2021, I pray it will be a year of restoration. I pray it will be a year of intimacy. I pray it will be a year of growth for me, my family, and my close friends. And for me, so what I did to cross over into 2021 i always um i don't go out if i'm in um, if i'm at home we always go to church but because i'm here i just stay stay indoors pray um just have a proper praise and worship session that happens and i pray my year in, like i pray myself into the year giving praise giving taking stock of what happened to me or what i faced or what i went through in 2020 and acknowledging that it is not my own doing it is not my own um smartness or it is not my own understanding that got me through 2020 but god's grace and that uh routine or that i don't have a, a proper word to explain it but that tradition is has been going on for the past six years that I've been celebrating um, New Year's in, in Russia. And I kid you not, it sets a tone for the year for me. It sets a standard for the year for me. And I appreciate it. I love it so much. I wanted to talk about um, like my goals and things I'm looking forward to in 2021. Obviously, I won't get into deep details about my personal goals. Like, there are certain things that I will not share because there are things that I'm still praying about, praying over, and um, things that I feel I, I'm not ready to share yet. But one of my biggest goals for 2021 is spiritual growth. And... I'm working on my spirituality. I'm working on my relationship with God. And it took the lockdown in 2020 to remind me that God still has my back. He's still my one and and only ultimate supporter and my stronghold. So that reminded me in 2020 and I'm holding on to that promise. I'm holding on to that um revelation so if how do i say this i'm a type of person who has walls built around like i'm a sensitive person and i'm an emotionally vulnerable person and to protect myself to to shield myself i build walls and the walls i build can push people away and not realizing that the walls that I built thinking are protecting me were actually walls I built that were also preventing God from working in my life. There were walls that prevented God from having access to the one thing that he always asked for, and that is my heart. And it took 2020 for me to realize that God will never break the walls unless you give him permission. God will never force himself into your life unless you give him permission. And 2021, I am saying to God, break down the walls that I created for myself in ignorance. The walls that I thought were meant to protect me are actually hindering your access to me. So that is what 2021 I pray will be for me a year of restoration of my relationship with God, a year of restoration of all the things that I feel um, are lacking in my life. 
and other the other goal that i have obviously for my channel and social media platforms is to grow to continue to grow and have meaningful relationships with with the people that i like with my audience have that community that oneness that love and i'm so grateful for the people that follow me i'm so grateful for the people that support me from day one and as and also the people that continue to join along i'm truly grateful for it and as much as i have my shortcomings as much as i am not perfect and i do not strive to be perfect i know that the only person that makes me perfect is god god is the ultimate perfection and I'm so I'm just grateful for this platform. I'm grateful for the people that that I have. And it is a small intimate family that I created and to each and every one of you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your comments, your communication, your reaching out, your sharing, your encouragements. Thank you so much. And then um, the other thing that I'm doing in 2020 is reading more. 2021, wow, is reading more. So now I started reading the 5 a.m. club, this book here. Yeah, this book, the 5 a.m. club. I'm reading this. I'm reading this one also called Queenie, that one there. So my goal for twenty uh my goal for twenty twenty one is to read two books in a month. And what I love about my phone is I can set uh books like goals for my books and so far I've said that I want to read um twelve books. Guys, I'll be back. Hello, ma. Ooh, that's cute, baby. It's nice, yeah? Yeah, for Jim. That was Sarah calling me. Um, She's out in the mall, and I didn't want to go out because a part of me wanted to start the vlog. And a part of me, I just don't like going out on um New Year's Day. I just, I prefer to stay indoors and just continue to take stock and just start the year with proper self introspections you know so yeah um like i was saying before we were interrupted um i have like this goals for books so for this year i've chosen that i want to read 12 but since i said i want to read two books per month it's gonna be 24 because we have 12 months in a year so it's gonna be 24 so i'll just extend the the goals as we as we continue as i continue reading and then also it has reading goals minutes so i set the amount of time that i want to read for for instance i set 120 minutes to read so that's what i do i sit and i read and then once the time has elapsed then it tells me that okay your 120 minutes have gone by you can stop reading sometimes i continue sometimes i stop i hope that 2020 will be an amazing 2021 my head is still stuck in 2020 guys 2021 will be a year of prosperity it will be a year of blessings god's grace that carried you throughout 2020 will carry you through 2021 because his grace is sufficient his grace knows no limits and i pray that his grace will locate you wherever you are in your life in whatever season that you are in in your life his grace will find you and your relationship with him will grow i pray i pray i pray so and i pray that whatever plans you have for 2021 they will be fruitful and i pray that whatever plans you have for 2021 will align with god's will over your life they will align with god's purpose 
over your life because sometimes we think the goals that we have should always happen should always work out when we don't realize that our goals actually need to align with what god with god's will over our lives if they don't align then he will not work on them because at the end of the day his will always has to be done wow they're still blowing uh they're still doing fireworks outside and it's already 18:53 in the evening tell me why are they still doing fireworks but anyway i've been talking for too long i've been rambling i need to stop and um i'm not sure when this vlog will go up probably this weekend probably next weekend i don't know because i'm just trying to ease into 2021 and just take stock of everything and make sure that i'm well grounded so that i can be able to tackle this year ahead i'll see you guys whenever i pick up this camera to vlog peace out <coughs> hey guys welcome back to another part of the vlog so um I haven't vlogged in a while. The last time I vlogged, I think it was the 1st of um, January, 1st of this year. And since then, I've just put my camera away and, well, I've been doing a whole lot of reading, a whole lot of self-evaluation. It's a totally different story for another day. But right now, I just wanted to do a grocery haul with you guys because I just came back from um, from the shops. And so this grocery haul is based mostly dedicated to a cookout that I have with my classmates. They're coming over um, to my place um, just for a, a mini get together, just to kick off the year. We haven't seen each other for like, I think two weeks now and so yeah we've been planning this cookout for the longest of time and we just decided that you know what let's just do this cookout and just have fun so what i'm making for the cookout is chakalaka but i don't have all the ingredients here some of them are coming with gabriel so yeah so obviously i bought um red peppers i couldn't find the rainbow ones i bought spices um, and to be honest you will think this is hot spice but um the definition of hot in russia is sweet so i just bought that because i couldn't find other hot spices i bought lemons lemons and ginger because i want to go back to making my lemon ginger tea in the morning that's the first thing i used to take before so i want to go back to taking that i bought some lettuce for my breakfast now i want to make a wrap uh, i got juice this juice here I got um, two cans of baked beans and then I got oil this oil here this is a mixture of olive oil and sunflower oil so yeah I got eggs for the house I then I then also got corn, a can of corn, this one here, and then I got a package of wings here, this is also for the cookout, I bought this on behalf of Gabriel, and then I then found something that i haven't had in the longest of time because you know how in south africa um oh because 
like of the changes in time so um whenever it's winter in south africa i am back in south africa whenever it's winter in russia i am in russia so i never really get to spend the summer at home and i miss a lot of the summer foods and today i just went into that shop and i found something that just warmed my heart it reminded me so much of my mom like it just reminded me of my mother i found lychees you guys like for the first time in russia i found lychees and i've actually seen that people have been buying lychees but i never knew where they got them and then today i found I'm grabbing them. I just remembered my mom. There's no human being who loves leeches at home like my mother. There's no person. Like, she can eat leeches any day, all day, every day. Anyway, so yeah, this is all. So I need to start preparing for the cookout because my classmates are coming in the next three hours. So I have time. Um, I just need to sort out everything. Well, I can't do anything because I don't have my carrots and the other things that I need. So I have to wait for Gabriel to pitch up. Hopefully he'll be here in the next 20 minutes. So, meantime, I'm just going to wash the dishes and make my first meal of the day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just have a wrap. I'll see you guys when I vlog today. I'm going to like vlog and show you guys the food that we're going to be eating because different people are different, but bringing different foods just like the Christmas dinner. So I'm going to show you guys. However, I'm not going to vlog my classmates because I don't want them to feel awkward and uncomfortable. I want them to just have fun. I'm going to just vlog it the way I did the Christmas vlog, vlog myself. So because at the end of the day, I'm the one who signed out to be a vlogger. I know them, so yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys when I pick up this camera again. And I promise I'm gonna bring it, pick it up today. I'm going to pick it up today. I promise. I promise. And this vlog was supposed to go up on Sunday. It didn't go up because of lack of content from my side. So it's going to go up this coming Sunday. By the time you're watching this, obviously it will be up on the channel anyway. But yeah, it's gonna go up on a Sunday. Just to maintain my Sunday uploads, you know? Because I want to upload every vlog on Sundays and every other video that I create on Wednesdays. So I think that makes more sense for me. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let me go. Let me bounce. It's a technological error, you. Anyway, we're that to flow to roll the dice. Okay, but you're picking your card from that side. Okay, zero. Zero. Okay. You won't move. No, but it hit this thing. And no, 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 no. But it did. No, it hit this thing. It hit this thing. Okay, but let's be fair. No, no, no. It happens to you all. Guys, guys, guys. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wrong property. Don't hit it. 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 Don't hit Okay, yeah. Okay. This side, this side, yeah. this side, this side, this side. You all and can it, see, but yeah. it's blue. blue. That's We're not looking. Okay. Know, like, but why okay, blue is okay, okay, But you can't see. I'll lie to you. You can't you see, see unless you bring it closer. Yes, now I can actually. I can see. I can see this one now. This is this side. This side. But can you read a word? Can you read a word? Yes. 